If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated with more fascinating content, please consider hitting the notification bell, subscribing to our channel, and sharing your thoughts in the comments section below. How to combat climate change in your garden with native heroes plants. Here's how you plant the appropriate tree in the right place to fight global warming from your own backyard. The weather is going to be really severe. It's difficult to look away after the record-breaking high temperatures of 2023. Even if climate change is a reality, you may still do your part to preserve your local environment. Even tiny gardens can increase biodiversity and aid in the capture of carbon from the atmosphere. A potent tool against global warming is the tree. Carbon can be stored in the soil below and in the trunk of a single broadleaf tree. Planting trees, bushes, or hedges can help minimize harm to people, plants, and wildlife during extreme weather conditions. Regardless of whether you have a tiny garden or a large landscape right outside your door, in what ways do trees combat climate change? Every tree in your yard will act as a filter, removing pollutants from the air, and storing carbon in the soil, roots, and trunks of the trees. It can assist absorb water from powerful storms and slow down the rate at which heavy rain falls. It can deflect the sun's intense rays, providing shade to cool the air and promote the growth of life. Every tree is important to various wildlife species for various reasons. Water resources are impacted by rising temperatures and natural cycles are altered. The likelihood that wildlife will find food and refuge during increasingly difficult times increases with the planting of more trees. Which trees are best at capturing carbon? Because specialists evaluate carbon absorption in terms of hectares of forest, the answer is incredibly difficult to pinpoint. The longest living tree species, however, will take in the most carbon. Choose a species that grows swiftly and matures early, because garden trees don't necessarily have a permanent home. Which trees grow best in small gardens? For smaller locations, many trees can be coppiced and clipped. Here is a list of plants that don't take up much space, but have significant environmental benefits. Malus sylvestris, or crab apple. Crab apples will absorb carbon while annually illuminating your outdoor area with colorful blossoms. The crab apple's erratic, rounded form is excellent for providing shade and lowering the air temperature. Enjoy the companionship of the bees and butterflies that come to its white blossom in the spring. The fruit can be grown at home and utilized in a variety of delectable crab apple recipes. Up to 10 meters tall. Environmental value. The drought-tolerant crab apple performs admirably during dry seasons. Many moth caterpillars feed on the leaves of this plant. Pollinators appreciate an early flowering season because it provides them with a valuable source of pollen and nectar in the early spring. Both animals like mice, bulls, foxes, and badgers as well as birds like blackbirds, thrushes, and crows enjoy the fruit. Conditions that are ideal for growth include full sun, most soil types, and dryness. As a result, the crab apple is a superb drought-tolerant plant. The juniper tree, Juniperus communis. To fit your location, juniper can be grown as a tree or a shrub. The popular evergreen juniper can be grown as a shrub or small tree. It can steadily absorb carbon, thanks to its hardiness and year-round leaves. Juniper will provide shade in your yard and protect tiny species from garden predators like cats, thanks to its dense branches and sharp leaves. Up to 10 meters tall, environmental benefit. Juniper is a well-liked nesting location and offers dense cover for little birds like the goldcrest. Field fair, song thrush, missile thrush, and ring oozel are just a few of the birds that like the fruit. Juniper thrives in full sunlight and well-drained soil types, making it one of the plants better suited to resist droughts. Salix viminalis, the osier willow. This willow is quick to develop and tolerant of moist ground, making it useful in flood-prone locations. In gloomy winters, count on a burst of yellow catkins to enliven your outside space. The osier willow grows extraordinarily quickly, adding about 100 centimeters in length every year until it reaches maturity. Making your own baskets will help you reduce your carbon footprint. It is also popularly referred to as basket willow. Osier willow grows up to 7 meters tall. Environmental value. The osier willow, 
which was first introduced in antiquity and has now become naturalized in the UK, has long benefited local wildlife and plant species. The branches are ideal for bird nests, and the catkins are a valuable supply of early nectar and pollen for pollinators. Moth species such as the lackey, herald, and red-tipped clearwing caterpillars eat the foliage. Preferred environment frequently found along moist riverbanks. The common osier favors direct sunlight and thrives in non-alkaline soils. Coralus avalana or hazel. Hazel can be cultivated as a stand-alone tree or shrub in constrained outdoor areas because of its quick growth and durability. Although coppiced hazel can store carbon for several hundred years, the first harvest of delectable hazelnuts only takes three to five years. The hazel tree grows up to 10 meters tall. Environmental benefit. Hazel grows quickly and is a favorite of squirrels, birds, caterpillars, and even dormice. Before the nuts are all gone, you'll need to act quickly. The ideal growing environment for this tree is non-acid, well-drained soil that is damp to wet. Prunus spinosa, called blackthorn. Although a touch spiky, blackthorn is a beautiful tree that is greatly valued by local fauna. When fully grown, blackthorn can grow into a beautiful tree. Early spring white blossoms will add to the elegance of your garden, and late summer purple black fruits, sloes, will take their place. When winter arrives, sloes are used to make slow gin, a wonderful way to enjoy the holiday season. The blackthorn is essential for sustaining biodiversity in times of extreme heat. It is it provides food and shelter for a wide variety of creatures. The height is up to 7 meters, increasing roughly 40 to 60 centimeters per year till maturity. Environmental benefit. Blackthorn is an important source of pollen and nectar for bees and butterflies, like the black and brown hair streak. It also has early blooming leaves. Many moth caterpillars are fed by its foliage, while birds who nest among its thorny thickets graze on insects and slows. Blackthorn grows rapidly and starts absorbing carbon very quickly. Moisture-rich, well-drained soil is ideal, and full sunlight is preferred. Betula pendula, or silver birch. Drought-resistant silver birch is a favorite hangout for avian life. The silver birch is very drought-tolerant, yet it does best in medium to large gardens. Compared to most natural trees, it requires less water, and because of its shallow, compact roots, it may grow in areas where other trees cannot. Under the open, bright canopy of the silver birch, grasses, moss, and flowers can flourish. Its attractive bark is always white. The silver birch can reach heights of 30 meters. Environmental benefit. Silver birch is one of the trees that can endure height temperatures the best. The abundance of seeds and insects that it supports attracts small birds like long-tailed tits, siskins, greenfinches, and redpolls. Can grow in a variety of environments, but like sandy or acidic soil. Extra information for different species. There are many plants that can help fight climate change, and the list goes far beyond just six. As a result of their capacity to absorb carbon dioxide, CO2, from the atmosphere, trees are frequently cited as having a substantial impact. Nevertheless, numerous other plants also play important roles in preventing climate change. Here are a few different plant varieties and how they mitigate climate change. Trees. One of the best plants for preventing climate change is the tree. They provide habitat for wildlife, absorb CO2, release oxygen, and lessen the urban heat island effect. Bushes and shrubs. In addition to absorbing carbon dioxide, bushes and shrubs in gardens and landscapes can also offer shade and lessen the demand for air conditioning in buildings. Perennials. Perennial plants are important for maintaining the balance of an ecosystem because they support pollinators, improve soil quality, and prevent erosion. Ground cover plants. When planted in large quantities, ground cover plants can prevent soil erosion, preserve soil moisture, and serve as a carbon sink. Plants that grow in wetlands help to filter water, lessen floods, and store carbon. A crucial part of removing carbon from the atmosphere is played by wetlands. Aquatic plants. In ponds and other water features, aquatic plants help oxygenate the water and support aquatic life. Cover crops. Frequently employed in agriculture, cover crops enhance soil health, lessen the demand for synthetic fertilizers, and absorb carbon in the soil. Mangroves and seagrasses. Those are coastal plants that safeguard the coastline by storing large amounts of carbon in their biomass and sediments. 
algae and seaweed. Marine algae and seaweeds can be utilized to produce biofuels and to trap CO2 from the atmosphere. Native grass, to stop soil erosion, restore native ecosystems, and store carbon in grasslands. Native grazes are utilized in restoration projects. Urban greenery, plants in urban settings, such as vertical gardens and green roofs, help cool buildings, save energy, and enhance the quality of the air. Food crops. Agroforestry and no-till farming techniques can boost soil carbon levels and cut greenhouse gas emissions related to food production. In conclusion, a diverse range of plants from various ecosystems and environments contribute to carbon sequestration, increased soil health, and overall climate resilience. Even though trees are crucial in the fight against climate change, to effectively combat the problems caused by climate change, varied plant species and ecosystems must work together.